What's up y'all, my name is Miles and today we're doing another video looking at the Keystone Cougar 30 RLS today. So this is going to be in their half ton towable line. Cougar has two different types of fifth wheels. They have like their high end luxury fifth wheels and they have their half ton towable fifth wheels, which is what this one is going to fall under. I have become a bigger and bigger fan of Cougar and actually got my own family in a Cougar fifth wheel as well. So big fan of them, you know quite a bit about them and really believe in the type of trailer that they build and really like what they put together with their Cougar products. So let's go take a look at this one. It's going to be a great couples option for a fifth wheel. So let's go check it out. Welcome back to another video before we get started hit the like and subscribe button down below I know out of everybody that watches my videos only about four to five percent of you are actually subscribed to the channel Which really is disappointing. I mean, I don't know why people don't want to hit that subscribe button So hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with future content if you enjoy these videos if you enjoy RV walkthroughs and just the RV lifestyle that's what this page is all about. So become a part of this page and hit the subscribe button down below and help grow this channel. And then if you like it, hit the like button as well. Check out my Instagram and TikTok pages here. There's more short form content of RV walkthroughs and I'm able to post more videos onto there because they don't take as long to make. And then finally, if you come into Holiday World and you see one of my videos, I'm gonna wait for these noisy trucks to pass over here. That one right there. If you come into Holiday World, see one of my videos, let them know that you saw my video and that's what inspired you to come to Holiday World or to give us a call. So that way I just get a little financial compensation for the work that I do making these videos. And if you care about me getting some sort of reward for the work I put in to do these, let them know that you saw my video. With all that said, let's take a look at this Cougar. This here is the Keystone Cougar 30 RLS. And like I said, it's going to be under their half ton towable line. So basically what that means is the weight on this trailer the dry weight is 8,900 pounds. So they market this as a half ton towable trailer because some half ton pickups can tow up to 11,500 pounds. But what you also have to keep into consideration is what your payload capacity is on your truck and what the hitch weight of this trailer is. So I'm going to put the hitch weight up here as well as the other specs for you to take a look at. So you'll be able to see those there. And that way you can just have that information to make your most informed decision on whether or not you're able to tow this vehicle or tow this RV with your vehicle. Um, a lot of people I would recommend having a um, three quarter ton pickup to pull this, but you know, if you're, it's your choice, your decision. Um, if it's, if it's rated, if your vehicle says that it's rated to tow this, um, you know, a dealership can legally sell it to you. So um, it's your choice, but your discretion to make sure that you are able to tow whatever RV that you're looking at and make sure that you're being diligent about what you need as far as your towing vehicle to pull something like this. But 8,900 pounds on the dry weight of this Cougar. And then we're gonna go take a look around at some different aspects of it. Going into the pass-through storage, the good size pass-through storage in here and one of the most important things to point out on these Keystone Cougar trailers is they have the in-command system. So this right here, you have a legend with how all of your wiring is um, laid out and every single one of your wires here for your electrical systems is going to be color coordinated and labeled in this legend. Two aspects of this that are really important. One, if you are trying to troubleshoot any of your electrical issues on your own, it's going to make that significantly easier than if you don't have a panel like this. And then two, if you take it in for service, you're paying by the hour for service work to be done. And this is going to significantly speed up the time that the technicians have to take diagnosing whatever your issue may be. So saves you money and saves you time and makes everybody's life a whole lot easier. So definitely appreciate that system, very cool. And then that is in unison with the touchscreen control panel inside that will also connect to your phone that allows you to control everything on this RV from your phone, such as your awnings, your slide outs, your lights, your AC, things of that nature. On this side of the RV, you have two awnings. So one here and one here. I would put them out, but it's sort of windy today. So I'm gonna leave them in. And then you have your outdoor speakers up top as well. All your windows or your biggest windows are going to be on your campsite and on the back side of the trailer. So you're gonna have all your campsite views out here. And then on the back side of the trailer, you'll also have your ladder for roof access. 
You'll have two ACs on top. They are the Coleman Mach ACs, which are severely quieter than what RV ACs used to be. So when we go inside, I have the ACs on full blast and you probably won't even hear them once we step inside the trailer. Um, fully walkable roof and fully walkable slide out boxes. So even the slide out boxes are built strong enough that you can walk on top of them. And then you have your antenna in that little dome there. It's a digital antenna. So everything for your TV and um, radio signal, everything like that is all in the digital dome antenna there. Underneath here, you're going to have a hitch and this is just going to be an accessory hitch. So this is has a 300 pound rating. So you can put like a bike rack or something like that or a rack for a generator on the back of your RV. Every single Cougar, I always point this out, they have reverse lights on here. So very important safety feature. You can think of many different applications where you may be towing this RV and you need to back up and you need the person behind you to know that you're about to back up. So you have those reverse lights. Now that I pointed it out, if you look at it on most trailers, you'll realize that like over 90% of them don't have reverse lights, which is pretty crazy. So Cougar puts those on there and it's a very nice touch. You're gonna have sewer hose storage here. Since you don't have a rear bumper, you have your storage compartment there for your sewer hose. Then you'll have two slide outs on this side of the RV. And this here is going to be your exhaust vent from the microwave. So it does actually vent outside of the RV, get all that air out of there from when you're cooking in the kitchen. And then underneath here, you'll see you have the road armor suspension so this is going to be one of the best, if not the best suspension system in the RV market right now with that gives you six inches of travel. So you have three inches of travel up, three inches of travel down in total for six inches of travel on that suspension system. And there's not another suspension system out there that I know of that has six inches of travel on it. So pretty significant feature there as well. You're gonna only have one spot where your water tanks drain out of and that's here. So you don't have to worry about any Y connections or anything like that. And then you'll have your pull levers there as well as right here. And let's see what else. All your water hookups are going to be in here. You'll have your nice little opening here for all your um, hoses and everything to come through the bottom so you can keep your door shut. And then you have key TV. So we've talked about key TV quite a bit on all these Keystone trailers, but I'll put it up here on the screen what key TV does. Basically makes it so no matter what your kind of setup you're going for for your tvs it's going to make it easier than ever and it's just kind of a plug and play method where if you want satellite or something for your inside your rv and want satellite channels it's going to make it easier than ever to get each tv on their own system all you need is a cable box for each tv and you're going to be good to go and it's just a plug and play your propane bottles are going to be split so you'll have one on this side and one on the other side of the rv you do have side camera prep as well as backup camera prep. So if you want backup and side cameras, you can put that on the Cougar. You're going to have the road armor pin box. So this here is gonna be a pivoting head with a rubber, a really thick, strong, durable rubber gasket there that's gonna absorb a lot of the shock from the chucking when you're towing your RV. So that will also help with your tow ability. And then underneath here, let's open this up. And you're gonna have your spare tire in here and your battery harness where that will hook up these cougars also have auto leveling on them so your auto leveling panel will be right there and you have solar um, prep as well so it is ready for solar if you did want to put solar on it you have all the hookups you need to just plug in a solar panel and go that's pretty much everything on the outside. You have nice docking lights up above and then down here as well. And then another hitch light right underneath here. So if you are setting up your hitch in darker conditions, you'll have all the lighting you need out here to see what you're doing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go take a look inside. So going inside here at Holiday World, we are gonna be a priority RV network dealer. So that's gonna be, if you look at this map here, we have 130 different locations across the United States that not only will service your RV, but they'll actually get you in the front of the line at their service departments. If you're traveling on the road, you're in the middle of a trip and you have any sort of emergency that's preventing you from being able to use your RV, all 130 different dealerships that are a part of this priority RV network will get you in the front of the line at their service department. So that's one of the huge benefits we have here at Holiday World that is 
given our dealership a Google review rating of a 4.9 star with over 1100 reviews because we have some service things intact like that that just give you the best experience possible with your RV to make sure you're actually using it and not having it stuck in service whenever you have any sort of issue. So just a good thing to keep in mind there about being a Holiday World customer, part of what comes with that. Now, looking inside here, definitely a beautiful looking fifth wheel. This is gonna be a mid-profile fifth wheel, so you're gonna have the slant in the ceiling, so you can see how the ceiling slants down towards the tail end, and then you're also gonna have a little bit of a slant in the bedroom as well. And I just love the Cougar look. Like I said, my family, they have a Cougar 364BH that they just bought about two months ago. So we're going camping in August and I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be at the end of August. We're going camping in Colorado, which is my hometown or my home state. And I'm going out there to go camping with them. So I'm gonna be making some videos while I'm with them camping and you'll see more of our Cougar fifth wheel that we have. But just know that I believe in this product enough that I sold my dad a Cougar fifth wheel when I could have sold him any bunkhouse fifth wheel really. And I put him in a Cougar. So anyways, that being said, let me talk about some of the constructural aspects of this Cougar fifth wheel and some of the things that Cougar has. First is gonna be in the flooring. It's a hyperdeck flooring. So that's a new flooring system from Keystone this year. And it is a completely water resistant flooring. It doesn't use any wooden components whatsoever. It uses four different layers that are like a polypropylene and fiberglass um, composite floor with a foam layer in there as well. Basically what that all means to you is it's gonna be completely water resistant. You shouldn't incur any water damage in this flooring because it's not gonna be a material that absorbs water. And then two, it's gonna be more durable than wood, than traditional wood flooring. And it also is going to be more lightweight than traditional wood flooring. So lots of benefits to that. And that's something that Keystone has been talking about a lot. Let's see what else. So you're gonna have your recliner seating here. So two recliner seats, they are going to have the heat, massage, and light features. So I think, yeah, we can turn the lights on here. You'll see the lights underneath that come on, and then you'll have your heat and massage features. Then you're gonna have a pull-out sofa here. So a two cushion pull-out sofa, it's gonna pull out to a full-size bed. It comes out to about somewhere right around here. So you will get a full-size bed when that pulls out. Uh, the Cougars, I believe, are coming with a 4K TV. So you do have the Summit 4K TV with that. And then you have a nice amount of storage behind the TV as well. Look at how deep those compartments are back there. Pretty awesome. They have that space. Cause I've seen somewhere there's literally no storage behind the TV and I don't understand why. The big fireplace that will put out heat. If you're sitting in this area, it's definitely enough heat that you will feel it if it's pumping out heat out of there. And then you'll have four different color options, which I don't know if I've ever showed the different color options. So let's see if we could take a look at that. Um, let's see. So we have the orange, the blue, the purple, which is my favorite personally, and then the natural fire color. So those are gonna be your four different options. Let's switch it to the purple, cause that's just what I like. And I accidentally turned the heat on. Now I'm gonna melt in here. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, how do I, <laughs> how do I get it to go off? Wait, no, turn, don't. We need this to go off. We don't want any heat. Oh my gosh, okay, I think I got it. Okay, cool, yeah, we're good. All right, so that's gonna be all that set up there. <laughs> Sorry for messing around with that. Um, then you're gonna have storage up above your sofa. These doors will stay up on their own. They have these um, hinges here that will hold it up and you'll have storage that goes all the way across. There's no intrusions anywhere throughout here. And then this is all nice hardwood cabinetry. Next, you're gonna have your pantry. So you will have adjustable shelves in here and it is a very deep pantry. It's about almost two feet deep, at least like 18 inches. So very deep pantry, you'll have your adjustable shelves. Then you're gonna have the 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator next to it here. So here's your freezer space and your refrigerator space. In your island, you're going to have all your pull-out drawers here that will be about the same size. You're gonna have a dual basin sink and storage underneath the island as well. 
Now, I really like how they set this up because you do have a lot of countertop space in the island, and then you're gonna have all your countertop space next to the um, oven and stove here as well. And up above, you'll have your microwave. Like I said, this fan here will vent outside of the RV, so you will have that air circulating out of the RV if you're cooking and have that fan on. Really deep storage in here, definitely a good place for pots and pans. And then everything here is going to be very deep as well to give you room for your pots and pans. Then I really like this piece because it looks very symmetrical and very nice how they set this up here. I like how it just comes up a little bit, gives it a really nice just residential touch and feel and looks really good. Storage compartments here are very deep as well. And then you're gonna have all this storage up above for whatever your heart desires to put in there. Lastly, let's do an outlet, che uh, outlet check. So you're gonna have an outlet here. You'll have an outlet here next to your oven and stove. And let me make sure there's nothing else that I'm missing over there. You'll have an outlet here on the island. And let's see if there's any other ones that I'm missing. No outlet on this side that I'm seeing. Also, you have like nice LED lights underneath here. So good accent lighting as well. That's something I just noticed as I looked under there. So it looks like those are gonna be your three outlets in the kitchen area. Let's move up into the bedroom and bathroom, starting with your control panel. This is the in-command system that I was talking about where it will link to your phone. So everything that this control panel can do here from you know checking your tank levels to controlling your AC, turning on and off your lights, your slides, stuff like that, you can all do that from your phone. And this will all connect your Bluetooth to your phone so that you're able to get control of all that stuff. Going into your bathroom, it's going to have a sliding door so you don't have any door intruding on your hallway and it doesn't really get in the way of having to use the toilet either you still have plenty of space there and you will have a porcelain toilet under here so a nice high quality toilet storage all back here for your linens and different bathroom necessities and then your shower you're going to have your different compartments in the corner for your soaps and shampoos and all that stuff and you will have a seat in the shower as well plus you'll have the skylight so there's plenty of height in there even if you're 6'4 six, 6'5 six, standing in that skylight you'll have no problem fitting in this shower have your countertop and your sink and then you'll have storage drawers here that are all going to be that deep you have three of them and then another small storage compartment there that you could put some things in and then down in there sometimes i look in there and i'm like oh my gosh you can see the street and that's actually into the pass-through storage so just because of the pressurization of the unit they have to have some air being able to come up through that compartment into the main part of the coach so that area down in there is all insulated and has heat ducts running to it so you don't have to worry about like cold air coming up through there or anything like that, but that just helps with the pressurization of the unit from what I understand. And that's just going down into the pass through storage. Then your medicine cabinet storage. You also have a um, AC duct in here and then you also have your fan. So you have everything you need in this bathroom to take care of whatever you need to take care of. Going into the bedroom, again, the AC is on full blast right now, so um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but this is on high, and this is as loud as it's gonna be. You're gonna have a queen size bed. It does come with a like an upgraded, I think it's like a, I don't know if it's a Serta mattress or what it is exactly, but I know it's a much nicer mattress than comes in like a standard RV, and my parents were pretty pleased when they bought theirs and stayed in it the first few nights, and. It wasn't, ter it wasn't terrible from what they said. And they're the type that, you know, usually gets a new mattress for their RV. And they said they did all right their first night in it. You're going to have all your wardrobe storage in this compartment here. Plus you have these slide out shelves. Then you'll have your nightstands. I really like how the Cougar does their nightstand set up here. Gives you lots of space to store all your stuff. Plus you have compartments down into there as well. And you have your storage here, storage up above, outlets and USB ports on both sides. 
and same thing storage on this side as well you will also have tv hookups in the bedroom so you can mount a tv right there and your hookups will be right there and then the final thing i want to talk about another constructural element when you look at your ac system here and if i get underneath it you'll notice there's two ac vents so this ac is on what's called a racetrack system so basically you have an ac um, ducting coming out this way and AC ducting coming out this way and they're both going down the length of the RV they're ducted into the other AC unit and it just wraps around and goes around the whole RV in like a racetrack system so that's going to maximize your airflow it's going to give you twice the amount of vents as fifth wheels that only have like only have one line of ducting going down the RV and just a very very efficient um, cooling method that they use with that racetrack system Let's see, one other thing too that I wanna to talk about constructually is when you look at underneath this uh, carpeting here, you'll notice that your flooring underneath here is wrapped and insulated. So you'll have the astrofoil insulation there and your subflooring is going to be wrapped underneath here. I am surprised the number of times I've looked at other brands and other builds where I lift that up and it's literally just exposed wood. And another thing that just goes to show the quality of the Cougar fifth wheel and uh, attention to detail that they put in and let's see if there's anything else that i really feel like is important to talk about okay yeah here's another thing i um, wanted to check and make sure this was on there but the dinette table actually moves so this is another cool aspect of the cougar fifth wheel the only thing i've seen that has something like this this dinette table if you want more room you just move that latch and it's actually going to slide and give you more room or you can obviously push it the other way and give it more room that way so you can get more clearance to get in and out of that table. So that's another really cool aspect of the Cougar. I know when I'm showing RVs, I'm very careful about showing people this because if they don't fall in love with the Cougar, but I show them that, they're gonna question why everything else doesn't have that. And so I've had that happen a few times, but that is something that I've only seen in the Cougar fifth wheel so far. So let me give you a final look around just at the inside of this fifth wheel. And that's all I got. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you making it to the end. Hit the like and subscribe button down below, like I said, and stay up to date with all the future content coming out. 2022 models are going to be coming out soon, so stay up to date with those. And I will be taking a ton of videos as soon as we get those in, which should be literally any day now. And next video I'm going to be doing is a comparison between a Tab 320. Yeah, so New Camp Tab 320 and a little guy mini max so two teardrop trailers i'm going to be putting them side by side and comparing those so hit the subscribe button hit the notification button to know when that video comes out it should be coming out real soon here and go check out my instagram and tiktok pages the links are down below in the in my uh, description and then finally my contact information is at the end of the video so if you have any questions about anything or want to contact me about an rv call me at that number at the end of the video and let's talk but until next time i'll see y'all out camping